Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 401 of our trek, and today is Wisdom Wednesday. Every Wednesday along life's trail, we will dig for the nuggets of wisdom that are found in the book of Proverbs. Today, we will explore the second half of chapter 15. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. By the time this episode is released, we will be back in Charlotte, but I am recording a few days in advance, so when we travel to Arizona next week, I will have a few days prepared ahead of time. I have been able to get caught up with most of our client work and have been working on some of our longer-term podcast-related projects. Progress is being made, but we are taking our time to learn, to plan, and to prepare to ensure everything is done as correctly as possible. I should be able to make a couple announcements on more definite plans within the next couple of weeks. We do depend on our years of experience and wisdom from God to guide us in our planning and execution. As we relate back to the principles of planting and harvesting, the time we invest in planting through learning and preparing gives us the harvest both in experience and wisdom. We are in continual learning mode with the study of the book of wisdom, which is Proverbs. On our trek for today, we will dig into the verses 18 through 33 of chapter 15. The title for today's trek is taken from verse 30, and it is, Good News Makes for Good Health. So let's start right in with verse 18. A hot-tempered person starts fight. A cool-tempered person stops them. A person who chooses not to control their temper is one who is always looking to fight with somebody. More often than not, this person is really upset with themselves. They're very selfish, and they do not love themselves properly. Because of this lack of self-worth, they are always trying to prove themselves by fighting with others. This could result in physical or emotional abuse to others. In contrast to this, a person who chooses to keep their emotions under control because they are comfortable and confident with who they are will actually do the opposite and work at stop fighting when it does occur. Verse 19, a lazy person's way is blocked with briars, but the path of the upright is an open highway. A person who lacks initiative and is generally lazy will not take the time to properly maintain their lives so that they can be efficient and effective. This may result in a messy desk, a messy home, or in our analogy from this verse, a trail that is blocked with the briars of life. This type of person seems to have more crisis and drama in their lives because they do not tend to the minor issues while they are still minor. If you are effective and efficient with your life, then you will take notice and correct the minor issues, such as the briars of life, before they grow out of hand. Because of this, your trails of life will be more open so that you can make the progress that is needed. Verse number 20. Sensible children bring joy to their father. Foolish children despise their mothers. This verse is interesting from two aspects. I do not like to generalize the gender role, but I think it does play a part here. When a child is sensible, the father is joyful and will take credit for the child's sensibility. On the other hand, when a child is foolish, a mother will usually take it much more personally and feel that the children despise her through their foolish actions. Now there should be a balance between these two, realizing that both the father and the mother have some responsibility for training their child properly. But ultimately, the child is responsible for their decisions that they make. Verse number 21. Foolishness brings joy to those with no sense. A sensible person stays on the right path. Now somehow, in their perverted mind, a person who is foolish will take joy in their foolish action, and this is a clear indication that they have no sense. In contrast to this, a person who is truly sensible will stay on the path that is right and their actions will be right. Verse number 22. Plans go wrong for lack of advice, but many advisors bring success. Now this is an important and crucial aspect in all areas of our life. We all have the capacity to get so wrapped up with our own plans that we cannot see the forest for the trees. And that is why it is wise to seek wise and godly counsel on all our major decisions in our lives. The concept of mastermind groups is built around this. Other people outside our immediate sphere of influence can bring much insight and help us to succeed with the decisions we have to make in life. Verse number 23. Everyone enjoys a fitting reply. It is wonderful to say the right thing at the right time. In our world of constant and immediate sound bites and news, it is so refreshing to be around a wise person who, when they do speak, have appropriate and timely advice. It's especially rewarding when we are able to speak only when it is needed and what is needed. Verse number 24. The path of life leads upwards for the wise. They leave the grave behind. A wise person does what is good and godly in all areas of their lives, which brings everlasting life to their soul. They are not plagued or scared of the grave because they know that their eternity is secure. Verse number 25. 
The Lord tears down the house of the proud, but he protects the property of the widows. God will not allow the proud and arrogant person to continue on forever. Their foolish decisions, based on their pride, will be their downfall. On the other hand, God will honor and protect the most vulnerable people, of which widows usually fall into this category. Verse number 26. The Lord detests evil plans, but he delights in pure words. God is never pleased when we choose to go against his precepts and plans that are not pleasing to him. But he will delight in us when we humbly follow his commands. Verse number 27. Greed brings grief to the whole family, but those who hate bribes will live. A family who is led by a person with a lack of integrity will all suffer because of the decisions that are made by those leading the family. In this particular verse, it would indicate one whose integrity will change for self-benefit. If a family leader stands strong with integrity and does not bow to fleeting pleasures, will live at peace. Verse number 28. The heart of the godly thinks carefully before speaking. The mouth of the wicked overflows with evil words. Once again, Solomon is referencing our speech. A wise and godly person will think before opening their mouth to speak, and will only speak if it is needed and helpful. An unwise and wicked person spews out verbal garbage most of the time. Their speech will be overflowing with evil. Verse number 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. If a person chooses to ignore God and his commands, then they cannot expect him to be around when crisis hit. The opposite of that is a person who comes to God for guidance and follows his word daily. God will be there listening to their petitions. Verse number 30. A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. It is a real joy to be around people who not only look cheerful, but radiate cheerfulness in all that they do. A cheerful look coupled with good news truly is good for your health. Emotionally, physically, and spiritually, we will be strengthened through a cheerful person who brings us good news. Verse number 31. If you listen to constructive criticism, you will be at home among the wise. Now, criticism is not bad if it is constructive and given in such a way that we can improve ourselves. Being willing to listen and learn to those who really care for you and desire what is best for you is something good. When you have this kind of attitude, you will grow wise and find yourself being at home with those who are wise. Verse number 32. If you reject discipline, you only harm yourself. But if you listen to correction, you grow in understanding. A person who is too foolish to be disciplined by another person is only harming themselves and limiting their God-given potential. On the other hand, if you are willing to listen to correction and discipline, you will grow in wisdom, insight, and understanding. Verse number 33. Fear of the Lord teaches wisdom. Humility precedes honor. Respect and admiration for God himself and who he is will bring wisdom into our lives and help us to grow wise. As we gain good and godly wisdom, we will need to remain humble and respectful to God. Today's trail was once again filled with so many nuggets of wisdom. If we grasp how important this wisdom is to our emotional, physical, and spiritual health, and how keeping a good attitude contributes to that, well then we will have learned a great amount of wisdom today. In these verses, we were also reminded to hold our speaking until it is appropriate and something of value. So let's work at incorporating these principles into our lives each day. And tomorrow, we'll have another short segment of Wisdom Unplugged, where we will uncover an inspirational wisdom quote. So encourage your family and friends to join us, and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our trek for today. Just as you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, we ask you to help us to grow Wisdom Trek by sharing it with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person when you meet with them, and invite them to come along with us each day. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks, they are available at wisdom-trek.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Wisdom Trek so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. The journal for today's trek is available at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor. But most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly. Love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.